civil law, persons, change of name, under RA 9048. Only clerical or typographical errors and first or nicknames may be changed or corrected without a judicial order under RA 9048. Clerical or typographical errors refer to mistakes committed in the performance of clerical work in writing, copying, transcribing or typing an entry in the civil register. The mistake is harmless and innocuous, such as errors in spelling, visible to the eyes are obvious to the understanding, and can be corrected or changed only by reference to other existing records. Provided, however, that no correction must involve the change of nationality, age, status or sex of the petitioner. Death, effects, simultaneous death. Under Art. 43, Civil Code, two persons who are called to succeed each other, are presumed to have died at the same time, in the absence of proof as to which of them died first. This presumption of simultaneous death applies in cases involving the question of succession as between the two who died, who in this case are mutual heirs being father and son. Under Sec. 3, J.J. Park. 5 Rule 131, Rules of Court as the dispute does not involve succession. Under this presumption, the person between the ages of 15 and 60 years is deemed to have survived, one whose age was over 60 at the time of their deaths. Death, effects, simultaneous death. This being a case of succession, in the absence of proof as to the time of death of each of the spouses. It is presumed they died at the same time and no transmission of rights from one to the other is deemed to have taken place. Death, effects, simultaneous death. Under Article 43 of the New Civil Code, inasmuch as there is no proof as to die at first, all the three are presumed to have died at the same time and there could be no transmission of rights among them. The survivorship provision of Rule 131 of the Rules of Court does not apply to the problem. It applies only to those cases where the issue involved is not succession. Juridical Capacity versus Capacity Death Juridical capacity is the fitness to be the subject of legal relations while capacity to ACT is the power or to do acts with legal effect. The former is inherent in every natural person and is lost only through death while the latter is merely acquired and may be lost even before death. Art. 37. Nancy C. Dot. Juridical capacity, natural persons. The donation is valid and binding, being an act favorable to the unborn child but only if the baby had an intrauterine life of not less than seven months and provided there was due acceptance of the donation by the proper person representing said child. If the child had less than seven months of intrauterine life, it is not deemed born since it died less than 24 hours following its delivery, in which is the donation never became effective since the dining never became a person, birth being determinative of personality. Waiver of Rights Although the contracting parties may establish such stipulations, clauses, terms and conditions as they may deem convenient, they may not do so if such are contrary to law, morals, good customs, public order, or public policy, Article 1306, Civil Code. The child labor law is a mandatory and prohibitory law and the rights of the child cannot be waived as it is contrary to law and public policy, 